Hello everyone, this is Ben Dunn, founder of Antarctic Press, a small publishing company, been in business since 1985, um, also the creator of Ninja High School, Warrior Nun, Tomorrow Girl, Marvel Mongaverse, and uh, my newest campaign, Bikini Rangers, G, Bikini Sentai Gene Rangers, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, um, so I don't know, I I read somewhere today that uh, there was some sort of controversy concerning a spanuary contest that Tom McFarland had put together. Uh, he opened it up to anybody who wanted to submit and for to do a cover. But apparently, and I'm not don't know all the details, but what I might have heard is that one of the covers that was chosen as the winner was uh, created by AI. And uh, apparently it somehow slipped through the cracks and he was chosen a winner. And uh, a lot of people are upset by the fact that an AI entry won. Well, that's a lot of egg on, you know, Todd's face, I'm, I'm afraid, because... Uh, my understanding is that uh, he would not allow AI entries to be picked, to be entered. Um, I'm not 100% sure of that, but uh, from what I understand, that's the case. So what does this mean, actually? Should we all be angry about it? Should we all be chastised Todd McFarlane for choosing an AI-generated winner? Well, yeah, you could, I suppose, but what is really, what does that really accomplish? You know, I mean, I'll be honest with you, you know, there's perception and there's reality. And AI is a reality. Yes, you can talk about the moral applications of it. You could talk about it's theft. You could talk about this, that, and the other, that AI artists are not real artists. Well, that may be true, you know, and you can believe that. But the fact is, it's here. It's in front of you. It's being used. People are using it, you know, and it's only going to get better as time goes on. The only way this is going to change is there are laws against it. You know, if our government decides that, hey, you cannot uh, generate AI art, using other people's work. But that's not going to stop AI from advancing because you know what? This is a big world. The United States is not the only country in the world that uses AI. You know, AI can be used in many areas of the world where American laws can't touch them. And they'll only get better and better and advance and advance. So, you know, I don't like the use of AI in art, but... It's there, you know, and you cannot run away from it. You can, sure, you can fight against it, yeah, but what good does that do? You know, what are you, what are you going to do? You know, what, what, what's, the, what's the end game here? Are you going to try to eliminate AI? Well, good luck with that, you know. As long as there's money to be made in AI, it's going to advance forward. As long as people can save money, it's going to advance forward. As long as people feel like they can use it to see their dream or creation come through, it's going to move forward. I mean, think about it. How many writers out there who can't draw but have great ideas in their head but can't put it on paper because they can't, they're not artistic? Well, AI allows them to do that. You know, how the temptation may be too great for them to not use it to their benefit. I mean, it's going to happen in movies. It's going to happen in animation. It's going to happen in real life. You know, this, but what's going to happen, you know, is that we'll need to have some sort of safeguard that people will know that what they're seeing is generated by AI. You know, you can either support it or you don't have to support it. I think most people out there, they don't give a rip about whether something is created by AI or not. The only way AI is going to be an issue is if it, it falsely creates 
an image or uh, idea that is, you know, uh, could be detrimental in terms of, you know, things that they believe in. You know, <clears throat> the thing is, is that uh, um, no one wants to be lied to, you know, and the fact of the matter is AI allows people to lie. You know, it's very easy now. You know, the trick is to try to pick out the lies. And that's what uh, it's going to be the most difficult part about this whole AI thing. You know, it's a tool. You can look at it as a tool. I remember when Photoshop first came out. You know, a lot of people were unsure as to the ramification of computer coloring, digital coloring. You know, Anarch Press, believe it or not, was one of the very first publishers to utilize digital coloring. Uh, we started digital coloring our covers as far back as 1990, 1991. You know, and that's uh, where the biggest drawback of then was memory. Photoshop was notorious to be a memory hog, you know, and it was very expensive to own. But we uh, wanted to use it because we knew the technology was going to help us be more efficient and be more creative. And so, I mean, you can, you know, laugh or be angry at Todd, but he may be just a victim of circumstance. He may have been generally fooled by this guy who entered, you know, the, the fault really is the guy who entered the contest. You know, if he knew the rules were not to send in AI, then he is the one responsible, you know, for that. You know, he's the one who took it upon himself to do to utilize it and enter falsely, knowing that the rules prevented him from using AI. And this is where the danger lies, is the criminality of using AI to try to pass things along that are false or are not yours. You know, anyway... You know, I, I just want to tell you that, uh, you know, despite what you may think of AI, it is here to stay. I mean, things change is painful. You know, when things are happening that you cannot control and that go against the status quo, you know, people are going to lash out about it. They're going to they're going to be upset by it, you know. But sooner or later, you're going to have to accept it. It's, it's one of those stages you have to learn. You got to either learn to live with it, you know, or be left behind. You know, adapt or die, as they say. So, I will tell you, I, I don't know what uh, Antarctic Press's view on it is, is, but we know, you know, as a company, that it is here. And if the tools are available to keep the company afloat, to make it more efficient, you know, to be able to create things that will help uh, save money, then yeah, those are things that uh, we may consider, you know. The, despite the morality of it of all, the fact of the matter is, is that it is here. You know, it's right in front of your face. So hopefully that won't be too much of a discouragement. Uh, you know, I want people to create things by hand. You know, there's something about the human touch when they actually do things that makes it really special, you know. I think there's not going to be a replacement for the human mind as of yet. You know, we ne who knows what the future holds. I just recently watched 2010, which is a movie I hadn't seen in a long time. For those of you who don't know, 2010 is a sequel to 2001 A Space Odyssey. And uh, it was made, I think, Back in the late 80s, early 90s, I'm not sure, during the height of the Cold War. You know, there's a lot of things in there uh, no longer exist now, you know. So it was a bit of a time capsule, so to speak. But what's interesting was that in the HAL, the HAL 9000, which is the computer uh, in the movie, uh, acts very human. You know, I can imagine that HAL, you know, given the opportunity, would be able to create things because he acted very human and he was treated like a human so who's to say who's to say so until uh, next time um, 
I want you to be aware that change is painful and you have to learn to accept it sometimes. Um, please like, subscribe, the whole spiel, you know what I mean? Um, if you like it, press like. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know. And uh, I also have a campaign going, as I said earlier, on Kickstarter called Bikini Sentai G Rangers. I hope you'll be a backer. Um, there's only a few days left, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's a very fun, all ages comic where uh, I combine Power Rangers with Bleach Blanket Bingo. Uh, and if that doesn't get you uh, to buy it, I don't know what will. So until next time, this is Ben Dunn signing off. <laughs>